Imagine waking up one morning to discover that the mobile world you thought you knew has quietly rewritten its own rules. You grab your phone, only to find that the familiar Android interface has been replaced by something startlingly different and yet remarkably intuitive. In the span of a few weeks, whispers turn to buzz, buzz turns to headlines, and before you know it, nearly a billion Android users worldwide have made a decision that seemed impossible just months ago. They've switched to Harmony OS. How did this seismic shift happen? And what does it mean for the future of our digital lives? It began as a murmur in tech circles. Harmony OS, Huawei's homegrown operating system, wasn't merely a backup plan born from geopolitical pressures. It was evolving into a genuine contender. Early skeptics dubbed it just another fork. But as engineers refined its microkernel architecture and rolled out distributed capabilities, a quiet revolution took hold. One by one, influencers and beta testers reported tangible improvements. Faster app launches, seamless device handoffs, and security features that felt like an impenetrable fortress. The question stopped being if and became when. Smartphones had long been governed by a duopoly, with Android and iOS alternating as the reigning champions. Each update spawned predictable debates, new emojis, marginal speed gains, minor tweaks to privacy controls. Yet beneath the surface, a growing discontent simmered. Android felt bloated, fragmented across countless manufacturers. iOS remained closed, its walled garden frustrating power users. In the lull between major releases, a space opened for something bold, an OS designed from the ground up for a hyper-connected world. Harmony OS stepped into that void. From the first moment you booted a Harmony OS device, the difference was palpable. Gone were the stutters when switching between heavy-duty apps. Swiping through your home screen felt weightless. These weren't marketing slogans or selective demo room numbers. They were consistent wins in third-party benchmarks comparing app launch times, multitasking fluidity, and battery endurance. Tests showed Harmony OS launching popular apps nearly 30% faster than flagship Android builds, while extending real-world battery life by up to 20%. For anyone tired of charging midday, this hit a nerve. But raw speed only told half the story. The true power of Harmony OS lay in its vision of distributed intelligence. Your phone no longer stood alone. It became the command center of a thriving ecosystem. With a single swipe, your smartwatch displayed incoming calls. A gentle tap transferred streaming media from your phone to the car's infotainment system without a glitch. At home, the moment you closed your apartment door, your Harmony OS-powered TV flickered to life with your favorite playlist, synced from your phone in the cloud-like ether of local connectivity. No manual pairing. No confusing menus. Just an effortless flow, as if your devices spoke a shared native language. As compelling as that sounded, Harmony OS's privacy and security enhancements sealed its appeal. In an age when we surrender more data with each swipe, Huawei's StarShield framework provided a welcome counterweight. Sensitive operations, camera access, location tracking, microphone activation, required explicit, on-the-spot permissions, and every handshake between apps and system modules was logged in a secure audit trail. During an independent security audit, Harmony OS blocked 98% of unauthorized data access attempts, outshining mainstream Android variants by a significant margin. For users weary of feeling like their personal data was negotiable, this level of control felt revolutionary. Meanwhile, the geopolitical winds that once threatened to isolate Huawei began to play a different tune. Instead of relegating Harmony OS to niche status, global interest grew in the idea of a sovereign OS, one that could stand resilient against supply chain disruptions or sanctions. Countries seeking tech autonomy saw Harmony OS as a blueprint for self-reliance, capable of fostering local developer communities and reducing reliance on foreign platforms. Huawei invested hundreds of millions in developer incentives, and within a year, the Harmony OS app gallery housed over 2 million native apps covering everything from finance and gaming to smart home integration. Yet, the path to a billion user milestone was hardly straightforward. Convincing everyday consumers required more than specs and slides, it demanded stories. Early adopters shared their firsthand experiences on social media. A freelance photographer marveled at how large raw files imported, processed, and exported faster than ever. A busy parent described how the family's Harmony OS tablets, phones, and home assistants all synchronized chores lists, grocery reminders, and video calls without a hitch. 
These authentic testimonials resonated far beyond Huawei's official channels, igniting a grassroots momentum that no marketing budget alone could achieve. At the same time, Harmony OS faced headwinds. Encouraging major Western developers to port top-tier apps wasn't an overnight task. Legacy Android dependencies, unfamiliar SDKs, and perceived market risks kept some studios on the fence. Addressing this, Huawei launched a comprehensive compatibility layer, allowing Android APKs to run smoothly within Harmony OS while subtly nudging developers to embrace native APIs for peak performance. Within months, most high-traffic apps adapted, bridging the gap between the old world and the new. What finally tipped the scales was the gentle crescendo of everyday breakthroughs accumulating into undeniable momentum. A wave of local manufacturers in Southeast Asia and Eastern Europe began shipping mid-range phones with Harmony OS pre-installed. Carriers bundled Harmony OS-powered tablets as exclusive add-ons to data plans. Even a handful of major U.S. retailers started trialing Harmony OS devices in select markets. Each incremental win felt small alone but together they formed a tidal wave. By mid-2025, independent analysts estimated that over 800 million daily active users had logged into Harmony OS at least three times per week. Proof not of curiosity, but of sustained engagement. When Huawei announced it had crossed the 1 billion device threshold, the figure included smartphones, tablets, wearables, and IoT hardware, underscoring the breadth of Harmony OS's reach. For context, the last time a mobile OS approached these numbers, Android itself was riding the crest of a smartphone boom that reshaped entire industries. Now, Harmony OS was echoing that momentum, this time as the challenger. So what lies ahead for this bold new player? The immediate focus remains on deepening user loyalty and expanding app diversity. Huawei's roadmap hints at tighter AI integration, letting Harmony OS devices anticipate your needs like automatically switching your phone to silent when you enter a meeting or queuing up morning news highlights as you brush your teeth. Longer term, Harmony OS is set to roll out an open source variant that invites developers worldwide to contribute directly to the system's core, blurring the lines between proprietary and community-driven innovation. Of course, Android and iOS won't stand idle. Google is already accelerating efforts to unify its own ecosystem investing heavily in Android's Project Unity cross-device framework. Apple, too, is rumored to be exploring tighter macOS synergies beyond what we've seen to date. The stakes have never been higher. For users, this competition promises rapid innovation, sharper privacy safeguards, and a richer tapestry of interconnected experiences. The real shock, then, isn't simply that a billion people have adopted Harmony OS. It's that they did so by choice. In an era when consumer inertia is profound, breaking through with a fresh paradigm requires more than marketing hype or geopolitical narratives. It demands genuine breakthroughs in performance, security, and convenience. Harmony OS delivered across all three fronts, nudging the tech world off its long-held axis and inviting everyone to reimagine what a mobile operating system can be. As you watch this video, consider what matters most in your digital life. Is it raw speed? Seamless device harmony? Ironclad privacy? If the answer is any combination of those, then a shift toward Harmony OS begins to feel not only plausible, but inevitable. Whether you'll be among the next wave of switchers, or whether you'll stand by your current platform, depends on how much you value the promise of a truly distributed, secure, and elegant ecosystem. One thing is certain, the age of the mobile duopoly has been decisively challenged. A trillion-dollar industry is bracing for its most profound transformation in over a decade, and the choices you make today could echo for years to come. So what will you choose? Will you embrace the new era and hit switch, or will you wait on the sidelines to see how the story unfolds? Share your thoughts below, and don't forget to subscribe for our upcoming deep dive into the future of Harmony OS, because the next chapter in this unfolding saga promises to be even more astonishing.